Hey guys, Dean here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing another travel guide. So in this travel video, we're going to be exploring all the best things that you can do when visiting Frankfurt in Germany. So all the best tourist sites from the Frankfurt Tower to some of the cooler parts of the city like its old town and the places in these sectors which I think you should go and see. This is going to include the five best tourist sites to see in the city because contrary to popular belief, the city is not actually a massive city, but there's still some really good experiences to do within Frankfurt so I've gathered the five best to show you in case you're a brand new tourist there and also later in the video I've showed you the places to avoid in Frankfurt based on my experience so you can not run into the wrong places so without further ado let's jump into the video number five financial district the financial district of Frankfurt has many different names the German phrase being Bankenviertel meaning the banking quarter and the central business district or financial quarter of the city. It's a place where many of the most important buildings in this sector are located, such as many of the key banks, headquarters of law firms, insurance companies and any other financial institutions. This is where many of the city's high-rise structures and the important skyscrapers are situated, which really stand out from most of the city. Number 4. Senckenberg Natural History Museum the Naturmuseum Senckenberg is the natural history museum of Frankfurt and it's the second largest in Germany, housing a diverse collection of birds, eggs, skeletons and specimens. This museum features dinosaurs and their vast skeletons and bones, showcases trilobites and prehistoric creatures and it has information regarding dig sites where certain skeletons and pieces in their collection were found. It has exhibitions regarding biodiversity, the planet's solar system, periods in time like the Cretaceous and Jurassic periods, rocks and minerals, amphibians and reptiles, and a large set of rooms which showcase stuffed animals, namely a large bird collection, a room full of mammals like wolves, and a set of rooms where you'll find thousands of insect species and breeds in glass containers. Safe to say with my phobia of wasps, I wasn't exactly the biggest fan of that part, but it's super cool and interesting to see and learn about. Number 3 German Film Museum Anyone who loves movies or who has studied films should should make this a priority to visit. I studied media in school and later film and TV production in college so I do have a vested interest in movies which is why I decided to give this one a try. This film museum showcases multiple exhibitions, some being temporary which change and others being permanent such as its first room. These rooms feature interactive elements as well as displays with artifacts and precious movie memorabilia. I really love the storyboards from movies like Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. The life scale model of the Xenomorph from Aliens and Darth Vader's helmet as the Imperial March theme plays. It's super immersive. The figurines from the stop motion movie and Nightmare Before Christmas, as well as each of the facial expression pieces needed for Jack Skellington during the animation process are really fascinating. If you animated Lego as a kid, then you know. There's also interactive workstations where you can listen to audio tracks and mix and match them to different scenes to show how sound changes the mood, and the editing workstation where you can make your own cuts from the different clips. This is a great museum which has so many interactive elements. The secondary exhibition I saw when visiting was based upon natural disasters, showing movie posters from films like 2012 and The Day After Tomorrow and footage from movies of this same theme, exploring how these types of films have naturally progressed through time and changed. Number 2 Roma Roma is a must-see part of Frankfurt. It's the old town of the city, aka the Altstadt in German, the location where you'll find medieval buildings opposite its large church. Being the city hall of Frankfurt, aka the Rathaus, for more than 600 years, the old-style buildings here are polarizing and they really do stand out from the rest of the city. All of the city buildings in this area share the same architectural look and building style, with wooden elements, with six courtyards and nine houses to make up this section. Number one, main town. Power. The one thing you should do when you visit Frankfurt is visit the city's highest vantage point where you can take some amazing photos in a panoramic view of the city. This multi-store tower features a fitness club, restaurant and lounge, office space, modern art experience and more, but the public entrance takes you up to the viewing point at its top. You'll basically take one of the elevators which is either the small two-person or a bigger four to five person elevator, which travels well over 100 meters to the top to its 200 meter high point. 
point. The skyscraper is 56 stories high and it's famous for its observatory. I would personally soak in the view of the surrounding city and take some photos if I were you. But if you want a real close up view of Frankfurt, put a euro in the telescopes so you can see all of the distant buildings and interest points in more clarity. Of course, as with most higher up points that I do visit abroad, there is quite a bit of anxiety when you're close to the edge of the building and trying to take pictures. I always have the same intrusive thoughts about dropping my phone and just losing it forever from the top of the tower. There's two different sections when you go up this tower which allow you to view it from two different points, at the very top and also from a smaller viewing place through the glass below. So now let's actually cover what not to do in the city. One thing that I didn't do when visiting Frankfurt is actually research the downsides of the city and that's why I'm including this section to educate you before you actually visit so you don't get caught off guard like I was. I wasn't actually aware that Frankfurt actually has some seedier sides of the city. Now, I love to go into foreign stores and shops, especially those that sell food from cultures abroad. As I went to this side of the city with a lot of the foreign convenience stores, I did notice that the connecting streets led me into almost a sort of red light district of sorts, one which I didn't even know existed in Frankfurt or Germany. Now, this part of the city is not as well maintained or tourist heavy as it was in Amsterdam. Perhaps why this is lesser known and why it didn't come up when I was researching the city. This place is home to many of the more seedier bars and clubs and stores and it's not a very well maintained part of the city. This area but more particularly the connecting streets which you'll find as you get further and deeper into the area has an evident substance problem. I noticed a lot of drug addicts around this area in large amounts, many doing it in broad daylight not hiding their paraphernalia. It's a shocking part of Frankfurt and I noticed some violence too around this area area. Definitely not a place that I would visit at night time as it would be pretty hard to get out of if a problem went down here. Frankfurt also seems to have a drinking problem. Not the casual drinking by Germans who love their beer but with substance use there's a lot of drunks around here. Not just the streets but everywhere slumped on some of the other streets or just loitering around on the ground and in parks. Especially near the Bahnhof aka the train station. This is why there's also a lot of broken glass from bottles which you'll find on the streets and some of them will which you'll find on the roads too, which a lot of cars unknowingly drive over and burst their tyres on. These are just things to be wary of and look out for when visiting Frankfurt, elements that definitely bring the city down when visiting, and that are a little more lesser known when you try to look for places to see as a tourist, which were definitely worth mentioning so you come well equipped and prepared when going so you can avoid these different blunders. But it doesn't take away from the whole city because there's still some great experiences to see in Frankfurt and the people are very friendly here. So if you found this video useful do leave me a comment in the comment section down below with any questions maybe about any of the places which I covered or if you live in Frankfurt maybe your personal experiences or correct me if there's anything that I got wrong as a tourist. Also if you have any other great recommendations for people when visiting the city please let us know about those down there too because I love to engage in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe if the video gave you some kind of value and I'll see you soon.